Hello everybody, welcome back to another Expeditions Guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the viewer in the driver's seat contract in Coconino. Uh, for this contract you do need to have a logistician on your team. And uh, be ready to buckle up because this is a long one. we got to hit, uh, I believe, six points in a sequential order. So I'm going to take you to the first point. And we're going to go along the route and hit these points and show you how to get this one done. So starting off from the Northwest Outpost, uh, we're going to be using the Scout 800, and I do have a set of anchors with me for emergency purposes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and follow the route. We need to make our way over by the gateway to go ahead and start the route. So we're going to make our way over to the gateway to get the first point, and then we're going to start the route. And this route just loops all the way around the entire Coconino map. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make our way through this little uh, dried out riverbed gorge here. And we're going to take this all the way down to the, uh, the lake shore. And we're going to just, uh, we're going to go ahead and follow the lake all the way up to this chain of islands and uh, we're going to use this to uh, get across here To get across this first island, we need to go across to the other side of the shore here. So we're going to get right upstream here, kind of get a little traction on the rocks, but we don't want to get like super stuck on the rocks. And we're going to use this free branch to flip myself over, apparently. <laughs> no, we're going to use the tree branch to pull ourselves over. Alright, so once we've made it across, we're going to go into the mainland here, right through this little beach. There is an airdrop here, but I'm going to stop and get that airdrop on the way back, because we're going to have to go to a point and then come back over here. So I'm going to worry about the airdrop on the way back. So if you see that airdrop up, you don't need to worry about it right now. We'll get to it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is make our way over to this little pond here. And we're going to jump right into it. It's not super muddy here. And we're going to go right for this little gap here. And climb right through that. And then from here we're going to go ahead and make our way up the hill. Alright, once we've made it to the top, we're going to go ahead and just make our way across this little plateau here. We're going to follow this all the way around, climbing up the rocks here. And we're going to make our way over to the bridge. If you don't have the bridge built, it is 75 spare parts. But we got the bridge built, so we're going to go ahead and make our way across it. Kind of nice and carefully here. So we want to go around this rock ledge and keep our trucks on this even rock here. With the bridge. Once we made it across, we're going to go down the south side of this second plateau. 
and there's a nice crack in the ground here so we're gonna stay to the left side here so we can get across that there's one more crack so this one we're gonna cross right in the middle here and we're gonna go all the way down to the end here by these trees go right through the trees here and here's where we will find a spot to climb down I'm gonna go ahead and climb down here there we go nice and easy And from here we're going to go through this rock clearing. If you don't have this cleared, it is another 75 spare parts. Make our way through that. So we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the ghost town. Kind of following this path here. Let's make it over here. We're going to just climb down these rocks here. And we're going to go ahead and make our way over to the very first point. which is right here. From here you can see the old town, a good place to look around. All right, so we're going to immediately turn back here. And we're gonna get basically just take the uh, the route we took from the river. We're gonna take that all the way back, so we can get to the next waypoint. Once again, we're going to make our way back through the rock clearing. And once we make it through the rock clearing, we're going to go ahead and make our way up onto this ledge here. So how we do this, we're going to get pointed right at it and pull ourselves up with a tree. Once we've made it onto the plateau, we're going to go back across the plateau and get over to where our bridge is, get across that, back through the little swamp, and over towards where the airdrop is. You'll see we got the, uh, the second waypoint is right here by the airdrop. So we're going to make our way over to the airdrop, resupply, hit up the next waypoint, and then make our way to the third. Oh, that didn't work. That is why I bring anchors.
There we go. I, I just didn't have the angle right. Still don't have the angle right. Plop another one down here. There we go. That didn't work out quite as planned. Probably could have done a little bit better job getting the angle right, but that's all right. That's the way to go. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Oh, got about that. <laughs> the tire pressure. Alright, so we're going to go across this plateau and uh, make our way down through the little pond over to the airdrop and get our second waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down the climb here. We're going to avoid the big rock ledges and just kind of roll our way down. And we're going to make our way into the little swamp here. Climb up on the other side. And this is going to get us all the way up over here where the airdrop is. Go ahead and grab the airdrop. We do need a little bit of supplies. We're going to grab the extra anchors, the dinosaur bone. We'll go ahead and just refuel. Alright, so we're going to drive right on over to our second waypoint right here. Driving along the Ford will take your breath away. I agree. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make our way back across the River Ford. Navigate around the rocks here. And we're going to go ahead and climb onto this island here. Drive across it and then make our way over to the other side. And from here we're just going to drive right along the river. Kind of back towards the outpost, but we're not going quite all the way back to the outpost here. Alright, so we're going to make our way up over here. <laughs> I'm struggling with these angles today. There we go. That's where we're trying to go. Alright, so we're going to make our way down. We're going to go right through this dried out riverbed. And what we're going to do here is hang a left around this tree. And we're going to go ahead and go all the way down to the end here. Climb down this rock. Just gonna roll it again. I don't. Know. 
All right, well, it was an adventure and a half. So now that we made it down here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the next waypoint. We can go right in between these trees here. Go across the river. All right, once we made it across the little river, we're going to go ahead and climb all the way up this mountain here. And this is going to get us to our third waypoint right here. Okay, so next up, this is the where things get interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our free truck recovery to the Southwest Outpost. Dangerous slope route. Sounds interesting. All right, from the South Outpost, we're going to make our way to the south. And we're going to go ahead and just make our way around the perimeter of this gorge here. And from here, we're going to go ahead and climb all the way up. And once we get down here, we're going to go ahead and follow the uh, little perimeter of this little lake here. And then we're going to use this climb to get up the other side of this cliff here. And from here, we're going to make our way down. And we're going to make our way to the left here. And we're going to make our way across this little island here. And up onto these rocks. And once we get to the top here, you're going to see a little climb here. It looks really steep. But, there's a tree here, so we're going to pull ourselves up with the tree. Nice and easy. Once we get to the top, you will find our fourth waypoint. So we're going to go ahead and snag that. Indescribable beauty. Let's continue the journey. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make our way back down. And what I'm going to do is, we're going to go straight across here. We're going to navigate around these cracks in the ground. Climb on up this other side here. And we're going to go ahead and make our way around this little lake perimeter here. We're going to go to the right side of this crack in the ground. Just going to make our way right over.
And from here, we're going to go ahead and make our way right down into the lake here. It's muddy, but it's really not super bad. So we're going to go ahead and just drive right through it. Once we get across the lake, we're going to head up onto this ridge here. And here's where we're going to find a way down over on the side of this rock by this dead tree branch. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down this mountain pass here. So we're just going to keep going down this pass here until we get to the bottom. Once we get to the bottom, we're going to hang a left over by these dead tree branches and begin to work our way up. Use these trees here. All right, once we're up here, we're going to go around this crack in the ground here. And we're going to make our way through this little valley here. It does get a little muddy through here, but it's not super terrible. Just enough to kind of slow you down a little bit. And then up ahead is another rock clearing. Um, I've already cleared this out, but if you have not cleared this out, it is 75 spare parts. And just up ahead, we're going to find our next waypoint. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Small stop near the mine is a good idea. I think so, too. So we're going to go ahead and make our way down here. And we're going to kind of head into this little gorge here with all these trees. And we're just going to follow the path right through it. As we get up on the other side, we're going to go around this little puddle here. And use the path to climb out. Once we make it down here, we're going to use this path to get down into this little area here. And we're going to cross over and we're going to use this path that goes up to the right around this big rock here. Once we make it over here, we're going to make our way up over these little plateaus here. And we're going to go ahead and make our way over to this rock wall. The edge of this cliff here. And we're just going to drive right around it here. And from here, we're going to go ahead and just drive right on over to our final waypoint. And there you have it. That is Viewer in the Driver's Seat. Like I said, it is a super long journey. There's no, like, 
easy way to complete this. I tried to show you guys the, the easiest way, I think, which is using that uh, recovery to swap out posts. It shaves maybe five, ten minutes off, off the adventure, which is a lot of time, I guess. Uh, but this expedition contract unlocks the Azov AM8-1600, which is a fantastic engine for the Step 310. So, hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.